Welcome back everybody. So guys in this class as I say to you I'm going to teach you about how much data we can retrieve in index.html from the process ajax.php. <coughs> Basically we can get every data which is in the process ajax.php which is echoing or printing. You know the print what is the print? The print is the p r i n t print. And go to the browser to check that out the print so i'm just going to the browser and refreshing the page so let's just click on the click to retrieve data again now you can see that this is a php page and this the second line both of them are still in a place however the the second line is printing not echoing you know the both has no difference basically they both are the php so this is super perfect what more i need to do I'm going to create an object or the array. We can work on the object and array both to show you that uh, how the PHP can show multiple data to the Ajax. I'm going to use the array now. So press enter and search something like uh, array in a index.html. But before that, we have to create the array. So let's just create that. I'm going to create a names collection. So the dollar names. I'm not typing name because this is not a simple name single name this is an array this is an array the names so what I'm just putting in this one different data here make this an array and put the data like uh, you know I'm just putting the mark duplicate the John duplicate the Sean duplicate the Harry duplicate the Walton duplicate the Laura and that's okay save and then what I'm just gonna do I'm just gonna show all these names where I'm gonna show I'm gonna show in the same page I'm not gonna go to the index.html because index.html is simply getting the data which is inside the process dot process ajax dot php the data which is actually displayable the data which is echoing or printing here so I'm just uh, actually opening or fetching the complete array using the for each for each there are a lot of ways to fetch an array I'm just gonna use a for each for now the names in which way I'm just gonna get get the names as name I'm re I removed the S because I'm just gonna get the single result so now here I just need to echo something but before that duplicate and just print the BR awesome go there and I'm just gonna echo this is not not necessary to use the print or echo you can use both of them as you know I'm simply echoing the name and save and I'm just going to the browser and refreshing click to retrieve data now you can see that the mark John Sean Harry Walton and Laura now you can see that the complete array uh, is there uh, in this page so what I just need to do more I just need to make some kind of uh, perfectness here and here I'm just making a counter C the value of the C I'm just, I just put it as one and first I'm just printing the C and then dot and then again the dot the period and then the space because I'm just concatenating these things and basically I just concatenated these uh, the C with the space and the space with the array data so now save and I'm just going to the browser back and refresh. Let's just check that out. Click to retrieve data. Now one. Oh, all of them are one because I just didn't add the incrementation sign. Okay, that is perfect and exactly which I just want. Now it will be incremented every time when I just uh, when the forage loop. Well, here another period and the br after every result so see we refresh the page and click on the retrieval we just don't need to refresh the page simply click on retrieve and here is the result for example now I just want to add another space between them so go back there and here another BR copy the BR and paste there now say when I'm just going to back and I'm not refreshing the page I'm just simply click on retrieve data now the new data has been retrieved that means it's very simple and easy to retrieve any kind of data from the PHP. Generally, all the data which is echoing or printing can be shown in index.html in a browser. So guys, 
in this way we just retrieve the data the multiple data but something more i just want to show you you know that uh, here if i just go there and uh, second thing i can make any result as the with the htmlization or with the C style styling so i can do that on both sides but if i just do this here in a process ajax.php so you will see the change for example i'm just making this as bold save and now go to the browser and simply click on the retrieve and now you can see that the second line has been bold for now but i also if i just, I just, I just go there to the index.html and uh, just add this style fun wait bold save so and i'm just going back to the browser and say i'm um, now we have to refresh the page why we need to refresh the page because this is the index.html we have made any kind of change so exactly we need to refresh it refresh and now you can see that the receiver div is already bold click on click to retrieve the data now you can see that all the text is now bold so this is another way you can do that or you can do that in the JavaScript also well by the way this is not really important but you can do this from both sides but I prefer to change anything any process Ajax or basically the PHP file where you're just processing the data or getting the data from database whatever so guys in the next class we'll learn some more things stay tuned and goodbye